Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It says senior uh, 2023. This is an easy graduation style design using a little bit of a rainbow effect there to give it that nice 3D popping look. I'm gonna go over how to do that technique and a little bit about graduation niche in general. If this is something that you're interested in learning about, please stick around. Okay. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I am gonna be designing for black today, um, but for this particular design, I'm just gonna put a really dark gray background. You'll see why, because whenever I use black in my design and I wanna know where it is, I can make it show up a little easier on a nice dark gray. So we'll start with this. This is going to be a text-based design here. So this is going to be for you know upcoming graduations. I'm gonna make a simple design. It is gonna say senior, um, you know, 2023. So pretty easy. And we're gonna do a couple of these this week. So let's just start with the first one. This is the easiest. I'm just gonna go ahead, hit T on my uh, keyboard. That's gonna pull up a text box. And then from here, I'm just gonna type in senior and so this is where I am starting and now from here we're just going to go ahead pick a font that we like you can pick any font you want it really doesn't matter I'm going to go with something a little fun maybe more of like a script font um, there are a few that I like to use the one I'm thinking of right now is milestone script so let's see how that looks all right and so this is milestone I like that it's a little bit more narrow than I want right here because I can see how the R sort of overlaps that O to give it a little bit more space in between the letters. I'm just gonna go up to the top where you see this up and down arrow, it says spacing. I'll click on that and then from here, I'm gonna go to letter spacing and I'm just gonna space these letters out just a little bit, so not too, too much. I have it at 42 right now, let me take a look. And that looks pretty good. So now I can see here the R lines up a lot better. I don't have that overlap. I have a little bit of gaps here and here. That is totally fine with me. So this is what I think I'm gonna go with. And so now from here, what I wanna do is just go ahead and um, download this senior as it is because I wanna use some text effects on this word. So all I'm gonna do is come up here. I'll just go ahead and title this senior and I'll just put text. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and download this. I'm gonna go to share, download. It's gonna be a transparent background and I'm just gonna go ahead and download it real easy. Perfect, and so now that it's downloaded, I can go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side where it says uploads. From here, I can upload files and I can just go ahead and upload the file that I just put on. Perfect, okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead, double click there, I can close this, and now I have my senior, but it is now a photo that I can use photo effects on. Oops, sorry, I'm just gonna crop that up. Oops, got two of them. Okay, so now what I wanna do is a little bit of a layered outline and layered um, kind of drop shadow. And so I'll show you, this is gonna look really cool. Lots of different ways we can do this. I'm gonna do it with little blacks in between, because I think that's a little bit different than what I've seen typically. So I'm gonna go up to edit image. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to shadows and I'm gonna do a glow shadow. So I'm gonna want a glow shadow because I do wanna outline the whole thing first with whatever my first color for my drop shadow is gonna be. So whatever you want for your drop shadow, the first layer anyways, that's gonna be the one that I outline with. And I need it to be a little bit of a thick outline. So I'll probably go with about 15 or so is what I have it at. And I'm just gonna hit apply and then I'll give it a second. Now you may have noticed that Canva's moved around a lot of their controls recently as they often do. Um, right now I am using the classic photo editor. So I know they've put new photo editing stuff up. I just go ahead, went ahead and uh, clicked to restore to classic. So that's what I'm used to using and it's got all of the uh, features that I want. So. If yours looks a little bit different than mine, you may have to go to the classic one. Here you see there's a new one here if I click check it out, but right now I'm just on the classic. 
So now I'm gonna go to shadows and from here, what I'm gonna be doing is layering drop shadows. So I'm gonna to come to where it says drop shadow. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll get rid of the blur and get rid of the transparency. I'm gonna go ahead and select the red that I used for the outline. And I only want the offset to be about one. So I'm always gonna use one for this. I've got it um, kind of going off to the bottom right. That's the most common that you'll see, but you can change that any direction that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this, hit apply. Now it's a really simple technique. It just takes a little bit of time because I am just you know, doing layer after layer after layer. So once I get one layer up, I'm gonna go ahead and put black in between each of these layers. So it'll look really cool on a black shirt. I'll show you how that's gonna look. But this is also why I used a dark gray background so that I could see it when I do this. I'm gonna go back to drop shadow get rid of the blur, get rid of the transparency, make the offset a one. And now I'm leaving this as black and you'll see a little bit of a black drop shadow right there. I'll hit apply. And I'm just gonna continue to repeat this process. I'm gonna go ahead and make this sort of rainbowed. Um, so you can use any colors you want. You can use as many colors as you want. So you can you know, make it a very kind of small drop shadow or you can make it a very large drop shadow. So I'm gonna do a rainbow. Um, incidentally, this can also be used really well for like Pride Month is going to be coming up in a couple months. And so using like rainbow outlines or rainbow shadows might look really good for some Pride type designs. So just keep that in mind. Let's see, I'm going to go with that orange right there. I'm just picking the pre-selected colors here. You can, of course, always select your own colors. But I want to do this as, you know, quickly and easily as possible just because there's a lot of a lot of repeating steps and unfortunately I'm, I'm usually having to wait oops for things to finalize um, let's see do i want the red no i do need it to be the black perfect and good and so i might just go ahead and hurry through this pretty quick but uh I think by now you're probably getting the idea. It just takes a little bit of patience and repeating the same steps over and over and over again with whatever colors you want. And so now it's really you know, starting to pop. You can really see the way that that looks. If you don't like the black in between, you can always skip that black step and just go, you know, red straight into orange straight into yellow that'll give it a different look i'm doing it this way because it's a little bit different than what i've seen before so i wanted it to be a little bit more unique stand out a little bit more over some of the other ones so i think that putting the black in there just gives it an extra step an extra kind of layer of dimension that isn't as common there it is i know i'm just having to do a lot of waiting Okay, I'm on my last two steps. I'm just gonna do one more black and then I'm gonna put purple on. And that is as far as I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna get my one more black in here, keeping my offset at one all the way through. And then I'm just gonna do one more purple once this is finalized and I will have all of my layers complete. The most annoying part is just waiting for everything to finish. There we go, last one here. Get rid of my blur, get rid of my transparency, have an offset of one. I'm gonna pick the purple that I want, something bright like that. Hit apply, and so these are all the layers that I want to do for this. And so I really like the way that that looks. Now I put it on the dark gray so that I could see the black layers as I was doing them to make sure that I, you know, remembered to include them and remembered to get the right thickness and everything. But once I have it the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my background color back to black so that I can see how this looks on black. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a lot bigger. And I think I'm gonna put it at a little bit of an angle. So I think that that might look a little cool if I went ahead and angled it just like that, maybe move it up to the top of the page here, something like that. And so now you can see how this gives it this really cool sort of popping 3D look and how I used all the different colors. You could do these for different schools. You could do this with different school colors specifically. Um, 
So you could put up many different versions of this. As we know, it's always good to go ahead and scale things out, especially if you've got lots of slots to fill. So I could do this exact same design like a whole bunch of different ways using really common like school color themes. Um, if I wanted to do that way, if I had maybe less different colors, I would use maybe a thicker shadow. So I could still get this layer of depth by using less colors, but thicker drop shadows. Um, so lots of different ways that you could go about doing that. And then of course, if I hit T on my uh, keyboard again, I can go ahead and put a year in here, like 2023. And I can pick any font that I want for the 2023. Um, usually it's not gonna be more of a, oops, let me find what I want. Something a little bit groovy, probably not the script, but I like this one here. And of course I can put that down here. So something like that, and I can make this any color I want. I could, you know, give it some shadows too. If this had a deep enough shadow, I could even have it kind of overlap a little bit. So lots of different ways that you could go with that one. Um, maybe I go ahead and pick a color for this. Maybe I'm gonna make it the same red or something like that so that it pops. I could even go ahead and do some outlines so they have a new really easy effect here outline this wasn't on here before you could always get this effect by using splice it was just a little bit more difficult but now there's an outline feature and so i can just go ahead and do whatever outline i want so i can change the outline color for example to white and i can have a white outline you can make that outline as thick as you want so i could do something like that and really make it pop and so that looks pretty cool right there of course, you don't have to put the year in here. You could just have one that says senior. That way you could use it year after year after year. Or you could, again, scale it out and make it senior and then just put multiple years and put multiple years up. So lots of different ways we can go with this. But this is the basic idea. Really quick, really simple. I'm just going to put senior. I'm going to put rainbow because it is rainbow text. Oops, text. And that's it. That's the design right there. So. As long as you've got the patience to sit there and do the layers, it's not a hard one to do. It's just a little bit more time consuming than I'd like. And there it is. So I've gone ahead and downloaded it. It's a transparent background, PNG, and it is ready to go on a t-shirt, a mug, a sweatshirt, a tank top, um, greeting cards, for example. It could be a congratulations senior card. So lots of different ways we could go with this. Might look really nice on a sticker, probably for a sticker because the sticker is going to have a white background. I might use a different color for senior and maybe make those black shadows into white shadows for a sticker. Lots of different fun ways we could go with this. So be as creative as you want. I'm going to do another video um, coming up here real soon uh, with another senior themed um, design just because as we know, we're trying to um, trying to design about a month in advance as it is almost April. We are looking at designs for um, May and graduation tends to be at the end of May. So it's a good time to work on your graduation designs right now. So we'll do one more graduation design this week. If you have any questions about this niche or this technique or anything print on demand or Canva related, go ahead, drop it in the comments section below. I do try to get back to them as quickly as I can. Hope you guys are doing well with your, um, your soon to be, I guess, quarter or two sales and uh, I'll see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.